Hey guys, uh, it's Kyle and Megan here, and uh, Megan's been running the show on this yoga stuff. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I've just been trying to do a decent job. You've been doing demo. very good. Okay, I'm very trying. <laughs> uh, but uh, Megan and I were talking, and she was talking about intentions, uh, and th that's actually something in yoga is having an intention, mm -hmm. right? And I kind of get the idea on the tr on training in like strength training and conditioning, but I have no idea what like an intention for yoga is. So, an intention is a super powerful, powerful thing, you guys. Once you start sending an intention, it doesn't necessarily even have to be in yoga. We do it for yoga because there's a deeper connection with your mind, body, spirit. When you're on your yoga mat, it's just you and nothing else and nobody else. So when we set our intention, intention meaning attention to a certain thing that you want to create more of a reality for. For example, um, having more patience or finding your inner peace. Simple as just breathing alone or letting go of something that's no longer serving you, letting go of stress, negativity, anything you can think of that's weighing you down. When you set that intention, you're able to let it go. Gotcha. So you just kind of did the, the what and why together there. Right. Uh, yeah. So when would you decide to start adding that into your practice? So when I teach, and most instructors do the same thing, we set the intention at the beginning of class. There is a resting pose that we do in the beginning, an asana, and a final resting pose at the end. I like to carry that intention and give you guys an intention. So say our focus was on letting go. We will set that intention of letting go right in the beginning of your practice when you're in that beginning resting asana. So say a child's pose even on your mat, you're connecting with your body, you're starting to breathe, you're starting to think of that intention. And I repeat that intention throughout the entire practice. You can always go back to that intention when your mind starts to wander, when you start getting you know, confused, or when is this class going to end? You can go back to that intention. So if letting go is like the the intention for class that mm -hmm. day and there's like something on your mind that you just need to be letting go right. is that would that be your intention absolutely in like making that like I need to like focus on letting letting go of this absolutely idea. most of us can connect to something so if the intention is letting go we all have something that we can let go of right yes. so when you set that intention it's basically giving yourself permission to let go of it and once you repeat it over and over and you practice and another why we set our intention is we're able to connect more with, through our breathing through our vinyasa so breath per movement and focus on that intention become aware of that intention and then live that intention both on and off of our mats awesome yeah. thanks megan you're welcome